Metal Dead. Alright, so we killed the, our first zombie. Let's see what's on the other side of the room door. What the hell kind of research were they doing in this place? And why did they need a giant water tank to do it? Weird. And creepy. Yeah. Rather than prying open the doors with my hands, I just press the button. Looks like this elevator requires an access card. I'm going to have to look around to see if I can find one. Hmm. Uh, let's go back out. Or just dance around. through actually. That is a true shame. You seem to be in very healthy condition. The thing I could do with that body. Okay, this is awkward. Should probably be going. Nonsense, I see now. You must be my new lab assistant. I am Dr. Fritz von Fetchheimer. And who are you? Malcolm Campbell. Ah, nice to meet you, um, Campbell. Just call me Malcolm. Then they are Malcolm. As for my past assistant, Victor, it is just the same. I sent him on an errand, and he has been beaten by one of those undead creatures up there. I had to lock him in the boiler room. I have some bad news about Victor. Uh, I think he f tragically fell on a tire iron. Is that terrible? He was a very smart boy. Strong in feet. His body was prime condition. Thankfully, you are here now. I vest now of their upper management would send me. A new assistant so quickly? Yeah, I'm not actually quite. I have an errand for you to run. But I don't have the relevant experience to be a lab assistant. The experience is not required. Do you not wish to work with me because I frighten you? It's not at all. Everyone always thinks I am a little bit strange. A little weird, a little creepy. Why would anyone think that? I don't know. I don't know. One of my colleagues, he said to me that I am weird. He upset me. Yeah, Malcolm. He upset me so much that I was forced to drug him, take him down, and the perform the experimental surgery on him. I also gave him the sex change. <laughs> you do not think I am weird, strange, or creepy to you, eh? No. Besides, what am I need the assistance with is completely safe. My work is unrelated to the undead, you see? Yeah, I made a, made a, made a genetic. 
Minigenic Tech. I'm sorry, my first language is not the English that sometimes I'm being having the troubles with. How do you see pronouncing the company name? I can see how that would be a problem. Anyway, what do you need? What do you do here at Metagenic Tech? All they do many is exciting things such as well I am personally in charge of the genetic splicing department. They work on things that will further the medical and the scientific fields but I would not venture to explain such things to a layman such as yourself. Right. After many failed tries and destroyed specimens I have created the world's first landslot. My work has been a complete success. Uh, but sloths don't live under a wall. A complete success! Alright then. What will you do if I help you? What would you like? Well, how about the elevator? It is currently deactivated. And I only have an access card to the library area. Is that any chance that you... Is there any chance that you could find in your heart to lend me that card? I'm not sure I am understanding. The only thing I would find in my heart is a complex network of veins, arteries, and ventricles. It's figure of speech. Oh, I see now. No, why not? Because as my new lab assistant, I would require you to bring me a specimen before I can give you a card. What kind of specimen? Oh, I am so excited that you have asked me that. Oh boy, here we go. So wonderful undead creatures you see walking around outside. I figured out a way to communicate with them. I thought you said your work was unrelated to undead. Well, some of it is. No surprise there, really. Please, sir, Malcolm, I need your assistance. I would like you to bring me the fresh head of an animated corpse. Do you think you can do this favor? Or poor old Uncle Fritz. I guess so. Fantastic. To remove a head cleanly without damaging the brain, you will need a tool. I am sorry. It seems that I am misplaced my scalpels. You will have to find another way to remove the head. Take six reg. You will need it to clean yourself up. Things can get very bloody and messy sometimes. Yeah, thanks a lot. Now get to it. I am not doubting you will make Uncle Fritz proud. Alrighty. We need a fresh head. If there were plates, glasses, and utensils on the top, I could rip off the table really fast and leave everything standing. But there isn't, so I'll leave it, it as is. Hmm. So I need something to cut. A zombie's head off. And all the tools are gone. I love opening things. These nails could come in handy for nailing things. Hope I don't get any tetanus. Uh huh. 
anything about this bucket. I'm not putting my hand in that bucket. It's filled with sloppy, slimy. I don't know what it's filled with. But whatever it is, it stinks. It looks filthy. And I don't need to put my hand in it. You know how it's going to go and look at it. I don't know much about photo, photo, nah, photography. But I know what I like. Um, can I crank the handle? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that thing is hot. I'm not putting, I'm not in the mood to burn the skin off my palms. Um, can I get my tire iron back? I can't take this head to Dr. Fetchman. From what I can gather, he needs one with an undamaged brain. The brain on this one is hanging out of the head. I'm not going to touch it. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Let's see if it works. window. <laughs> Alright. Now I can move. Oh, sick. Is it going to be my buds? My buds head? Ronnie turned into one of those things quicker than I thought. His cold dead eyes are glassy and lifeless. Uh, creepy. Alright, I have the hook. Now I need to attach it to something. Okay, buddy. I'm gonna loop this around your neck. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll all be over in a minute. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this thing is jammed pretty good. Maybe if I, I could lube it up somehow? Can I loop it with beans? <laughs> Probably not. this on the blood. Oh wait, oil. <laughs> the rag might soak up a little oil. That should be enough. I'm an expert at lubing things now. <laughs> I'll just dab a little oil around here. That should do it. Sorry to do this to you, Roddy. It might be for the best. <coughs> Brutal. Roddy would have loved this. Ready to go and meet that weirdo Dr. Franklin. It's not like you have much of a choice.
not to give you some head. <laughs> beginning to worry that the same fate that befell poor Victor had also befallen you. No such luck. Place the head on the workbench over there. <laughs> oh, it is a perfect specimen. You have done very well. Though it is a shame about the How do you say? facial hairs. Perhaps I could shave them off. No, don't do that. But why? I knew this guy. Our head. He was a friend of mine. Out of respect. I don't think you should shave off the beard. He was kind of a... he was kind of proud of it. Maybe even overly proud. Oh, that is fine. We Germans appreciate the importance of facial hair. Thank you. Well, I think it is time to go to work. I am needing a tool to complete the operation. Could you be so kind to hand it to me? It is up there in the cabinet on the left. Alright. I think I may be falling into a trap. I don't know. I don't know this guy. He's creepy. A freaking chainsaw. Seriously? You've had this thing all along? Of course. I couldn't risk you damaging the head during the removal process. Yeah. There you go, chainsaw. Thank you, Malcolm. You are becoming quite as handy as this. Flattered. Now, where was I? Ah, oh, yes, the precise opening of the sensory cortex. How exciting! Now you must be quite quiet during this part of the operation. It is very delicate. delicate my ass. And then we take the drill. And voila. Oh man, my head. Ah, ah. Relax, my friend. Oh no, this is just a nightmare. Just a nightmare. You've had this German snuff porn movie nightmare before, Ronnie. You'll wake up from this one any second now. I'm afraid this is no nightmare, my friend. Explain this situation to your friend, uh, Malcolm. <laughs> Ronnie, I don't know how to tell you this, but you died in a car crash. No, I'm an awesome driver. How could this happen? I don't know, but it was definitely all your fault. No. Yeah, all your fault. Wait a minute. If I'm dead, how am I alive? You are alive because I am a genius. I implanted a device in your skull that overrides the undead condition and allows you to speak as if you are perfectly fine. Of course, you will still have an uncontrollable desire to consume the flesh of live human beings. But who almost, who among us doesn't from time to time? That was a joke. Looks like you're literally a mental, metal head now, Ronnie. An undead metal head. Apart from not having a body anymore, that's kind of cool. Really? You think so? Well, yeah, I do. I think 
chicks would dig it. Absolutely. I guess I can live with this. But I am glad that you are happy with the results of the surgery. No, you can take the specimen now. My work with him is complete. Specimen? Don't worry about it, Ronnie. So... My buddy. Well, here we are, friends, united at last. You sure going... Sh you sure you're going to be alright carrying me around? Shouldn't be a problem. It might be a little uncomfortable at first. Where are you going to put me? Just think happy thoughts, Ronnie. No, not there. Anywhere but there. In my ass pocket. I got head. Talk to Ronnie for hints by clicking on his head in the menu. <laughs> I never thought playing this game I would get hit. 